In this video, we're going to be talking about the topic of white supremacy, and particularly the ways that it shows up in our daily lives. Um, the topic of white supremacy brings up a lot of negative emotions for people. So if you're a white person and you have uh, sort of a gut reaction or a gut check to this content, please don't turn away. Uh, be curious about those feelings, explore those feelings, think about where you feel them in your body. Remember that growth is uncomfortable, but so is stagnation. And also please remember that your reaction to being complicit in white supremacy, it's not the same as the historical trauma white supremacy has inflicted on people of color. So what is white supremacy? White supremacy is a system whose core belief is that white people are superior to people of color. It is both a personal belief system and a political, social, cultural, and economic system where white people control the power, resources, and cultural narratives that reinforce the idea of the superiority of whiteness. White supremacy does not require the active participation of white people to sustain its oppression of people of color. Passive participation in the form of apathy has sustained white supremacy for years. You may be wondering, how does white supremacy show up in our everyday lives? Here are a few examples of ways we see white supremacy show up every day and some possible remedies for when we see it. First is the right to comfort. To combat it, you must understand that discomfort is at the root of all growth and learning. Next is power hoarding. To combat it, you must understand that change is inevitable and challenges to your leadership can be healthy and productive. Next is paternalism. To combat it, you must include people who are affected by decisions in the decision making. And finally, there's fear of open conflict. To combat it, you must be able to distinguish between being polite and raising hard issues. All of the examples just listed, along with their potential remedies, were pulled from the handout, White Supremacy Culture, which is part of the workbook, Dismantling Racism, a workbook for social change groups by Kenneth Jones and Dr. Tima Okun. You can check out that resource to learn more about these and other ways that white supremacy shows up in our everyday lives. So how does white supremacy tie into Wren's work and the overall movement for gender justice? To be clear, Wren is committed to challenging white supremacy in all its forms. Gender justice cannot be achieved if white supremacy is allowed to continue. In order to achieve gender justice in South Carolina, we must be committed to ending white supremacy in all its forms by challenging it when it shows up in our everyday lives. We hope that through this video, you were able to learn a little bit more about white supremacy. If you have any questions or would like any resources to learn more about this topic, please feel free to reach out to us at info at scren.org. This video is part of a larger series on gender justice and how it ties to Ren's work. Stay tuned for next week as we start to take a deeper dive into how gender justice has shown up in the policies Ren's worked on in the legislature. And please share this video with a friend.